huge thanks to these stores and teams for sponsoring my trip to ARG Nationals. Uh, it's a really awesome opportunity. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of these guys. So please go down to the description, find the links, check them out, show them some love. I'd really appreciate it. These guys all put in a lot of work to help get me there. So I'm really appreciative of it. So with that, let's get on to the content. Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the second deck profile of the day. This is the Alice the Girl in the Looking Glass. Uh, the is Ryan's Alice Saint Sages, so um, let's take it in. So, J activate straight up of one blue, one colorless, and you can tap to search your deck for a copy of Deep Blue, the Phantom Board, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your main deck. She flips over to Alice the Saint of Healing. Uh, she is a 400-1500. Uh, and she can pay two to give target resonator an additional 1,000 defense until the end of the turn. She can tap to make a target resonator untargetable until the end of the turn. And her god's art is blue-green, and uh, target J slash resonators you control cannot be destroyed by spells or abilities, and you draw three cards. So she provides this kind of massive protection, and you get to refill your hand. Um, very, very, very powerful card. And the fact that she just has 1,500 by herself is, uh, is very, very potent. Moving into the stone base, we run four moon shades because we do run the multiple colors for the uh, sages. Um, we run four uh, light papers because a lot of the other stuff in the deck is blue-white and we can filter easily with deep blue. A little red, the pure stone, and a blue water stone, and a basic water stone. For monster lineup, uh, for the soldier lineup, we run three Alice Little Scout and three Alice Little Assault Force. The fact that you can search these out with Deep Blue, you saw he pulled some burn shenanigans with Little Assault Force and his you know, regalia and stuff like that. Um, very, very tricky. The Sage package is three Mindless the Ghostly Flame to be able to burn your opponent and uh, resonators and stuff. Zero, the Flashing Mage Warrior, two of to be able to prevent damage. Uh, also has the quick cast, um, three Almarius because it does have quick cast and you can use it to uh, negate attacks or essentially RFG stuff that's attacking you. Uh, four Moose Dart to be able to use drop power and lock down your opponent's creatures. And three uh, Feasting Elvish Oracle to be able to have a lot of can cancel spells at your disposal. Plus it has quick cast and the fact that you can just, you know, it has a thousand defense is very, very good. Um, so that's the Sage package. The rest of it is two Alice Guardian of Dimensions. It has flying, it can provide more protection, and the fact that you can tap them to RFG something uh, that you're, is something you can't really necessarily get over is very, very good. Uh, two Rapunzel um, to be able to have kind of a finisher if you need to in games that go pretty long. If you have a bunch of Sages on the field because they've been being protected, you can use them to help you finish them off uh, your opponent using Rapunzel. And the Medusa package is two Uriel, as like a mini Heimlands Pied Piper to lock stuff down, and three Medusa to be able to get cheap damage in, uh, and stuff like that, and like you can, um, you know, you can cause some, some stuff to happen that way, especially with uh, the three jobs um, with Alice Castling, which I'll get to here in a minute. Uh, the Regalia is four deep blue, uh, the Phantom Board, because it is the Alice deck, so you want to have as many of these as you can. Uh, helps you filter, helps you search for your soldiers and put them right into play. Also, you can produce extra will with it. And then three bows to obviously do what bows do best and blow stuff up. Then, uh, three Alice Castling are the only spells just to be able to help you jump from one... Um, one sage to the next. Uh, it won't trigger the enter effect, but when a sage enters the field via it, uh, all the other sages will get counters, so it can help a lot with that. So that is the list. Huge thanks to Ryan for letting me show it off. Um, really fun list, so let me know what you guys think about it, what you would run differently, um, and stuff like that. This was pre-Twilight Wanderers, so I think this list would definitely have some changes after now that Twilight Wanderers is out. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, until next time, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is DMO73, signing off.